Madden, a franchise as polarizing as the very sport of football itself. Regardless of where you fall on the spectrum between loving and hating it, it's here to stay for the foreseeable future. Well, it probably is anyway. For now, if you like simulated NFL football games with real licensed teams and real players, you're going to end up playing Madden, for better or worse. If you're like me, you love the idea of a franchise mode. Take ownership of a team and slowly guide them towards success via intelligent drafting, free agency acquisitions, creative cap space management, and intuitive play calling. Develop a dynasty or wallow in failure as your every on and off season move affects your team's future. At least, that's the idea. In reality, Madden's connected franchise mode is an abhorrent mess of abandoned features, puddle deep immersion, and endless monotony. You all probably know this already. It's a subject that's been covered by hundreds of YouTubers, journalists, and top tier players for years. So how do we mix it up? How do we continue to have fun playing simulated NFL football? You have your obvious cash grab modes such as MUT, one-off, quickly abandoned modes like Superstar KO and The Yard, but for someone like me, those suck. No thanks, not interested. All of this brings us to today. While playing yet another week as the head coach of the Giants, steamrolling past a woeful 2025 Bears roster, I started thinking more about the game's difficulty system, specifically the sliders. With difficulties such as Rookie and Pro being so easy that they aren't even worth playing, and All Madden being so obnoxiously hard that all the fun is removed, I always ended up at the All Pro difficulty. By default, All Pro is still a little bit too easy, but then here's where the sliders come into play. By customizing the specific amounts of buffs and debuffs for each of these sliders, you can in theory create a difficulty that feels realistic. You have some popular players like Dan10 who create their ideal slider configuration in an attempt to duplicate the results and experiences of a real NFL football game. But what happens if we start messing with these sliders randomly? Which sliders are the most important? Are there any that don't really matter? Are there any sliders that when messed with could make for some hilarious gameplay? Or at the very least, less boring gameplay? You can only beat the Eagles 75-0 so many times before it gets old, so let's inject some chaos into the equation. The first step was for me to pick a team. This was actually quite difficult for me, believe it or not. I didn't want to pick my beloved Giants for fear of making them look like an even bigger joke than they already are. I also didn't want to pick a division rival or any team that was already set up for success. Eventually, I landed on the Vikings as my team of choice for a few reasons. Purple's a pretty cool color. Also, I know almost nothing about this team except for the fact that they have had historically bad luck in the playoffs. Victory seems to suit Minnesota just as well as defeat. Therefore, the Vikings are perfect for this challenge. After creating Slake Fist Crunch, our new rotund head coach, I start going through the roster to see what I'm working with. Yikes. No worries, this team can be turned around quite easily despite the awful O-line. There's some solid pieces on this team that I can work with. Good wide receivers, a good secondary, a serviceable QB should be all I need to go 16-0. Unless, of course, something weird were to happen to the difficulty sliders. So what I've done here is make a little wheel of fortune in which every pie piece represents one of our own player sliders. I'll spin it once to determine which slider should be set to 100, and I'll spin it again to see which one should be set to zero. The ultimate boomer bust mechanic. Will I be able to win games like this? Will I be beaten to a pulp by the gods of entropy? Let's find out. For week one against Atlanta, the wheel has decided that I will have plus 100 wide receiver catching and zero QB accuracy. Ouch. The CPU controlled Falcons were blessed with plus 100 pass defense reaction time and zero wide receiver catching. This should be interesting. I can catch, but can't throw. Their secondary will be filled with all pros and yet their receivers might not be able to catch a single ball. There's no better way to find out what's going to happen other than to dive in, so without any further exposition, let's get into it. Alright, we watched the Purple People Eaters come out for their first game of the season. We have plus 100 wide receiver capabilities, which is, we already had great wide receivers, so that's excellent. But we have zero QB accuracy. So that'll be fun to deal with. The CPU, our opponents, the Falcons, they have plus 100 pass defense reaction time, which is awful news for me. Uh, but they have minus, they have zero wide receiver skill, so hopefully I can grind out a lot of running yards on them, and, um, you know, that's my strategy, basically, is grind out running yards on them. 
pass in emergencies and hope that they're just completely inept on offense and can't get anything done. I don't think... Yeah, they have an aging Freeman here who, who wasn't really good in 20, if I recall correctly, because he ended up on the Giants. So, uh... We should be okay if they just get, like, a couple of yards on the ground and then, you know, throw a few incompletions every down, every set. That, that'll be great. Okay, this was not the camera angle I normally play with, is it? I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, fumble right off the bat! Wow, acrobatic move from number 76 there. You've never seen a big guy do a tumble like that, have you? McGarry. Yep, that's a guy in a conference that I'm not familiar with. He earned his paycheck today, though, I'll tell you what. All right, Bar's getting ready for some brutal blitzing action. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> suck it, Julio. <laughs> Butterfingers. All right. Now, I don't really ever play zone on third down, but... Oh, no! He finally got one! Damn it! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I see you. It's Julio. I mean, I guess that's gonna happen. Nah, nah, not this time. I'm sure all you Minnesota fans out there are like, "This guy sucks," but don't worry. You'll love me at the end, because I'll love your team by the end. And uh, we're going to win a goddamn Super Bowl with this team, eventually. They have zero wide receiver catching, and Julio is still tiptoeing on the sidelines. It's because I called him a Butterfingers, isn't it? And he just caught it! Who's that? That better be a holding. Yeah, we'll take that. Take that. Take that all day. All right, so let's start off with some coaching adjustments here. Let's make sure our cornerbacks are matched up by overall. I'm not sure that they are. Let me maybe put Rhodes on Julio. And let's go into a nickel here real quick. I'm going to try to use the coach's suggestions just to keep it simple here. I don't want to cheese anything too much. I might, in emergency situations, do it. but So don't hold that. You know, Don't be surprised if you see that. Oh, fucking for real? I thought I just... Come on, come on, get his ass. Yes, get that ball! Yes! It's mine! Run backwards eight yards, that's exactly what I wanted. We will take that. Was it a real fumble though? Let's check the replay. Bow! Oh yeah, Freeman dropped that bad boy. Oh, that's ours all day, every day. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see how bad this passing situation really is. We're gonna start off with a simple slant and see if we just get a probably just sacked horribly, would be my guess. Oh no, come on, Thielen! Oh, I forgot I have no accuracy in QB, nah! Okay, 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 okay. Let's try a run. Let's try to establish the run game here. Beautiful. Okay, that'll do it for us for now. Looks like inside runs are still broken beyond belief. Also, if I recall correctly, the Falcons were god-awful on defense this year. So, that could have something to do with it as well. Alright. I'm, I'm, I want to try this again. I have some faith. Oh my god, that was such a bad throw! Oh no! He's so bad at throwing. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. That's not enough. We're going to have to throw again. Uh. Alright, come on, Thielen. I got a Thielen that you're going to get this. Uh oh. What? Oh. <sighs> wasn't even close to where we were aiming. Pin him deep. Maybe we can get a safety. I'd like that. Come on, Colquitt. 11. Hmm. 
That's not as good as I was hoping. Is that Mohamed Sanu? That was a bad call, guys. Just who's on Julio right now? Rhodes. No fucking around. What was that? Oh my god. He almost took that to the house. Our secondary is pathetic. Yes! Yeah, solid run defense. Hopefully we can force another fumble out of his dumb ass. Let's see. This is probably a play action that's going to go to Julio and absolutely just destroy me, but... Oh, maybe not. Alright, four wide receivers. No one in the back. I'm not... Oh, right. I don't know where their dime package is. Oh, dear. There it is. No! He dropped it! Woo! <laughs> oh, Freeman is really the Achilles heel of this Falcons offense right now. What I really fear is when the defense gets 100% QB accuracy. Take a knee, please. Alright, come on, Cook. Oh, he's quick. He's quick. He's nimble. Well, he'll take that seven or whatever it was. All right, we've got to try to get something going in the air. Someone's got to get a catch. Maybe I can get some confidence up. Maybe that'll help him out somehow. I don't know. Come on, get his... Dude, he's... <clears throat> Five feet in front of you. Five feet in front of you. Okay, we're going to try this again. Except, surprise, it's going to be a run. Oh, he's so sneaky. Oh, he's so sneaky. I don't want to just abuse the absolute hell out of the broken running mechanics in Madden 20, but it's really not giving me much of an option here. Oh. Okay. All right. We're going to nail it this time. You're going to hit digs. And you're going to feel great about yourself. And everything's going to start working out okay. I don't know what... I don't know what to say. He's a mile off every time. It was working okay in practice. Oh, You got this. Like they're going to blitz me down the middle real hard. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. And they were going to hit you right now. Okay. No, they didn't. That's all right. That's all right. Come on. You got this. You got this. Uh! <laughs> Shit. I can't even put my backup in. This isn't Cousin's fault. It's the, it's the evil sliders. We got to do this for Minnesota. Put the team on your back. Yeah. Woo. Abdullah with the beautiful run. Oh, jeez. Okay. We got the 7-0 lead. Good place to be. We just got to keep our our foot on Julio, and we'll be all right. If he gets out from under us, we are in trouble. Uh, I'm going to go with my Dom look. I think they're going to try to get this back quickly because they're scared. I was wrong. No, it wasn't. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Yo, bow! Another huge fumble! And it's picked up! Oh. I thought it was picked up by me. It wasn't. <laughs> Freeman making up for one of his lost balls. They want to stay with the four wide. They're confident that will work. They'll probably, you know, do a draw out of it this time. No, 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 they won't. Oh, dear, but he's wet. Wow, okay. Yeah, see, that's what I meant about that wide receiver stuff before. Them being at zero is, is not good. Just, just like your QB being at zero. Big surprise of this video. A zero in anything is bad. 
Hell yeah, we forced the punt. They can't run the ball. They're not catching effectively, so they don't know what to do. They punt in their uh, in their own territory on fourth and one. It makes sense. It's a safe move. It's a smart move. They're only down by seven. Don't put yourself in a huge hole if you don't have to. It's exactly what I would have done. It's not what I would have done. No way. Oh, we're going to trick you. We're going to trick you. We're going to trick you. It's going to go to Rudolph. Motherfucker! He finally made a completion, if you think of it that way. Why didn't I just run the goddamn ball? Oh, you're going down again, Matt Ryan. Hunter is unstoppable today. Three sackles. All right. Let's hold him to three here, guys. That was wild. I don't know what was going on there. Okay. Why won't you give me any of the plays I would normally use here? Is that my fault? Does nobody go with a deep coverage when they're on third and 18? Nobody put the dime package out there when it's they have to fucking throw the ball? Or do they just want me to make bad decisions so the game stays tighter? I don't know. Because sometimes teams will play the same play back to back if it's working or if it only failed due to one tiny execution error or something like that. Like I mean, obviously, they break into different things periodically to keep them on their toes, but... Oh! All right, we got the ball back. We're up by four. Uh, passing has been an absolute shit show. I'm going to go for it one more time here with Thielen before I really commit super hard to just running and really nothing else. I'm actually going to run the ball myself. Ha! There we go. Take the dive. All right, cousin. See, you're not completely and utterly useless today. Going with a draw on second and four. Should be pretty safe. I felt that when he got hit. Oh shit, we don't have a lot of time. Right, that means I'm supposed to be throwing, but I can't throw. That's okay though. Yes! Rudolph! Unbelievable! That's our first catch of the game. With one minute left to go in the second quarter. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. We'll go with another draw. I'm so excited. Back to the line. Back to the line. Quick, quick, quick. We run another draw again. Then we call the timeout. Hell yes. Oh, we are utterly incapable of throwing the ball. Oh, God. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's try another slant again. I know only one of these has worked all game. And by these, I mean passing plays. I'm going for it. Ah! Back to the line. Back to the line. Back to the line. All right. An incompletion will be fine right now. Just no interceptions. I didn't really want that to happen either, but that's okay. I'll, I'll take my one time out. I'll take one shot play at the end. No, I shouldn't do that. There's no damn way if I take a shot at the end zone that it won't just get intercepted. I have to play this game completely different to how I normally would. Okay, didn't work. Made it a little easier on our kicker. We we'll got those three points back. We'll be back up by seven. Go into the second half. <sighs> okay. 12 yards in the air. Hell yeah, we get the ball back. <clears throat> Good stuff, thanks to that opening drive fumble. We have a chance to win this game. 
As long as we just, you know, drain clock, run the ball, extremely short passes in emergencies. Hell yeah, we do have this nice inside run play. This is similar to a play I, I cheese with the Giants all the time, but if the coach is going to suggest it, I am going to use it. All right, well. I'll take that. Okay. I've been throwing wounded ducks for a living. Ah! Crap. Don't panic. Don't panic. Hell yeah, they gave us another. We got this. You can do this, Cook. You can't do it. Cook couldn't do it. Ugh. Oh, shit. That's going in the end zone. Fuck! I know it's my fault. I don't care. All right, this is bad. We got to shut them down hard. Please drop it. Yes. Okay. Oops. Not giving me much to work with. Our defensive coordinators just not feeling it today, I guess. We didn't put our best guy on Julio for some reason. We don't have anybody looking out for the run. <laughs> As I say that, I get cover three or cover one. I don't really get a whole lot of options here. If I'm playing by my own enforced rule of going with coaches' suggestions. Go down a few pages, I suppose. Uh... Fuck it. Let's go for a huge ass blitz right here. No, no. Don't let him. Don't let him know we're going for it. Surprise! We were going for it. Ah, uh -huh. one more throw and then drop it. Then get the ball back. Come on, Hunter. Let me see a big fucking sack. Come on, come on, come on. No, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah! <laughs> That's actually a, a, a really good hit. Smith absolutely destroyed him. That looked like a Antonio Brown level hit where, you know, Julio's never going to be the same again. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Take it for the... No. Alright. Turns out we neither had it, nor were we going to take it to the house. Uh, oh, shit. I hit the wrong thing. That's fine. We'll stretch the field a little bit. Oh! Dalvin Cook! Take it to the house, baby! You can do this! Down the sidelines! Oh! No one's got the angle! No one can stop him! Dalvin Cook! So clutch! Giving us some genuine separation in this game. An actual cushion to be comfortable with. First play of the drive. Takes it 90 yards. Oof. Beautiful block there. Holy moly. All right, don't get too cocky now. Still got a whole quarter and a half left. I'm in your camera shot. I'm in your camera shot. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Don't get too upset about it. All right, let's go. Oh, Ryan got absolutely annihilated on that play. And Julio Jones still caught it. I don't know how they got 105 passing yards with zero wide receiver skill. But it appears to matter a lot less than I thought. Because 100 wide receiver skill did not help me at all with the inaccurate QB. Yeah, crushed his ass. It was a nice thought while it lasted. Yeah, that's my fault because I put him in the wrong package. I'm just going to have to eat that one. 
Oh, come on, guys. All right, Kendricks. Let's make this happen. Come on, Anna Kendricks. <laughs> All right, shut him down here. Cover the outside. Okay, never mind. Totally different plan now, guys. No! Please tell me he doesn't have the first. Yeah, fourth and one! You kick in or st Oh, they are going for it! Bastards! They're gonna run for this. Oh, I think they're gonna go... Alright, come on. Get his ass! Woo! Alright. This hasn't been your game, cousins. You're gonna pull a Trent Dilfer right now. You're gonna win this game based on running and defense only. Alright, I'm gonna try this fork wheel though. I wanna see if Cook can catch this. He's only gonna be like five yards away. Come on. Cook's not open. Oh, he caught it! <laughs> Two for nine, 28 yards, one interception. Can we tempt fate and ask for two completions in a row? I don't think we should, but we can try. All right, come on, Diggs. Come on, Diggs. Just kidding, I brought him for it! Ha ha, I tricked you! <laughs> no! Oh, brutal. That's a bad run. Well. Alright, over here, Abdullah. You've only touched the ball once before. Right, there's no way I'm trying to pass it here. It's just not going to happen. Let's rip one off for... Okay. <laughs> Maybe not! We got this, Cole Quit. Clobber. Where are you going? You just left Julio alone? What's wrong with you? Don't do that again. Bow. They... They're down by 14. They need to throw the ball. Ooh, he throws it away. That's, see, that's, didn't expect that. I'll be honest. All right, they are going to go for it now. So let's definitely go with the cloud match. I like this. We're going to play underneath. And we're going to protect the sticks. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> okay. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Nope. I'm not allowed. Leave it alone, Sanu. Ah! Oh, unfortunate. Nope! Nope! I actually thought he had that for a second. Now why is it all Sanu all of a sudden? You threw it to Julio all game. Oh my god. The fact that number 26 there, I'm not sure who it is, didn't jump for that ball infuriates me. I don't care if you miss. I want to see you fucking jump for it. You know what I mean? Alright, we should just need one first down and we can kneel it out, I think. Oh, wow. Come on. There you go. Lean forward. Lean into it. All right. We can get five yards on a run. Win this game. Should win it either way. We will have survived. A plus 100 wide receiver minus 100 QB accuracy challenge. Ha! Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, let's just go ahead and pin you over here somewhere. Hopefully that's not a touchback.
We're gonna just stay in the uh, the dime cover two for the rest of the game until the very end. Then we'll go into that deep deep three. <laughs> Reeman, poor guy. Wow, embarrassing. There's going to be so many drops in this game, I just realized. Oh, uh, wow. I did everything wrong on that one, and I did not get punished for it. They're not going out without a fight. They've seen the Vikings lose like this before. And this is, you know, a great example of how that might happen. Oh, that's a perfect time to use your pick all day. Come on. Use your swap. Let's end this game. Let's finish this game with a win. Open the season with a W. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting pretty good at that. Was that to Mohamed Sanu? Kale, can you even tell? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and kneel this one out, fellas, if that's all right with you. And with that, the Minnesota Vikings have won the first Madden Slider Madness Challenge. Holy crap. That was tricky. When you're used to playing this game and blowing people, you know, well, people. When you're blowing the computer out by 45. This was an interesting mix-up. Let's look at these stats, though. They're going to be pretty insane, I'm willing to bet. 17 passing yards. Cousins, did you get a zero? Oh, 0.5. Never mind, 0.5. Apparently, it would have been better if he just threw the ball to dirt the entire time, but that's not a zero. And hey, Ryan didn't, you know, really have a performance worth writing home about. He did get 200 yards, though, which with, with zero wide receiver skill is pretty incredible. Um, okay, now we got, let's see, Dalvin Cook, who won the game for us single-handedly, had the team on his back. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, okay, this makes sense. We had two catches, one to Dalvin Cook and one to Kyle Rudolph. Not a whole lot to look at here. And there you have it. I was able to win pretty comfortably, despite my QB being utterly incapable of completing a pass to the correct team. My wide receivers having the hands of Randy Moss made absolutely no difference when the ball was thrown eight feet or more off target. The increased pass defense reaction time of my opponents had almost no effect, seeing as how I was forced to run the ball nearly every down. The Falcons wide receivers were responsible for 12 drops, which is both incredible and not surprising. All in all, this game panned out about the way I expected, but as you'll soon see over the upcoming weeks, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing with this experiment, and the best is yet to come. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I hear it makes you better at video games or something. What have you got to lose? Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. We have a completion to someone on our team.